Welcome to Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. We have done the original Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie, and my personal favorite Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts already on this channel. So it's time to take a dig at Banjo-Kazooie Grunty's Revenge. This game came out way back in 2003 on the Game Boy Advance. And also, technically it came out on mobile, but I'm talking like 2004 mobile. Just for reference, the first iPhone came out in like 2007, so this is some old mobile crud. I'll be playing the Game Boy Advance version here. What do you say we just go ahead and press start? Start a new game, let's go! So we've got some little story here. Two months have passed since Gruntilda the Witch was defeated by Banjo and Kazooie. Uh, after falling from her tower, Gruntilda was buried underground, where she remains waiting for her sisters to rescue her until this very day. So basically, the story takes place after the original Banjo-Kazooie. Even though this game came out after Banjo-Tooie, it's kind of weird, but yeah. Hey Kazooie, I'll clean the barbecue while you clear things up in the house! Yeah, we're gonna have a pretty long little intro here as is kind of common for banjo game. Hold on, my video, I, I'll be right back. Meanwhile, here we've got Klungo, the evil crutter, dude. What's he doing, just making some weird noises? Klungo not shift rock. Mistress Gruntil did not get out. Maybe Klungo makes something to help Grunty. Wow, even though she's been destroyed, Klungo still is loyal. Like, dude, you could go off and just do your own thing. You don't gotta hang out with Grunty all the time, man. What going on here? Mumbo, wait behind a bush and see. Uh-oh. Good old Mumbo, Mumbo Jumbo. Uh-oh. Is it Mecha Grunty? Oh, jeez. They're going the Godzilla route. You gotta have a Mecha version, and eventually you gotta have a Mecha version in space. So Mistress can escape if she uses magic spell to get Ghost out from under rock and into Mecha Grunty. So yeah, just like all the other Banjo games, we're gonna have a pretty long intro right here. Actually, the entire first episode is gonna basically be a big tutorial, but it's just one of those things you gotta do. So with the Mecha Grunty, Klungo's made Banjo's favor will be repaid. I'll steal Kazooie and in a blast I'll use my suit to change the past. Without his bird, Banjo's lost. I won't give up at any cost. Oh boy, Grunty with their good old rhymes here. Back at Banjo's house! Okay, well, what are we gonna do about this? Oh, here comes this guy. Huff, huff, Banjo need to get Kazooie quick. Grunty back, looking to kidnap favorite friend of bear for evil plan to change history. Too late. Here Hag comes. Uh-oh. Well, as long as I don't take Kazooie, everything will be fine. Now I have your feathered friend. On my sisters, I won't depend. With this duo split in two, there's nothing that I cannot do. Hold tight, Kazooie. We'll move quite fast to travel back into the past. Aw, oh, crud. So it's not just Mecha Grunty, it's Mecha Time Traveling Grunty. Girl, we can't let Grunty get away with this. We've got to get Kazooie back before something awful happens. Oh boy. Mumbo used strong magic, send Banjo back to same time as Grunty. Banjo tried to find ancestors of Mole and handsome young witch. Doctor, they help Bear get ba bird back. Hope magic not have too many side effects. As long as it doesn't make me grow a second head, because Banjo's dumb enough as it is without spread spreading his uh, all of his thoughts between two separate heads here. But we've got some trippy little graphic effects swirling down into the past right here. So yeah, this game is actually a 3D platformer made out of 2D graphics, so it's kind of weird, but it actually turns out to be a pretty cool game. So we're back in the past now. Wow, that was some light show. Sure hope Grunty didn't spot you. Sorry to frighten you, Mr. Mole, sir. I'm feeling a little dizzy. I wonder, could you show me the way? Oh gosh, don't meme on me, guys. No memes right now. The Gruntilda's castle. Grunty's castle still being built. You must be Banjo. A letter about you appeared in a flash, like it just did. It came from some Mimba Jimba fella. Mumbo Jumbo. No, it's true, I tell you. Poof, and there it was. It said you'd need some help to remember a few moves you'd forgotten from your trip. By the way, you can call me Bozai. All right, Bozai. You'll need to learn the pack whack first. I left my lessons at the next molehill just north of here. Press A, and I'll come a run in. One more thing. Be sure to bring ten musical notes with you. I ain't doing this for charity. You'll need to collect notes to trade for moves. Alright, so just like in Banjo-Tooie, we'll actually have to collect some notes to uh, be able to get new moves. So it's a lot like you'd expect from a Banjo-Kazooie game. Lots of collecting. We'll be getting notes. We'll eventually be getting, as you can see right here, we'll get a Jinjo. Let's go ahead and get that guy. So that's one Jinjo we've got now. You've just found the Jinjo. Go see the Jinjo Oracle and she'll tell you more about these creatures. 
Okay, I don't know if that's a very fitting voice for this guy, but okay, now that we've got 10 notes, we can go and talk to this molehill here, and let's see what we get for this. Well, they've already told us, but anyways. Well, now that's more like it. Let me see them. Notes. Here you go, Bozai. Okay, now let's see. Uh, I kind of skipped through that a little quickly. It's fine, though. You're packed to whack things. If you're standing still, just press B to trigger the pack whack. And uh, yes, indeed, we can use that. You'll need this to get into the Jiggy Temple. Just whack the switch on the floor to open the door. Oh, gosh. Now Bozai's rhyming here. But before you go into the temple, why not try talking to the Ginger Oracle? She might be able to help you find your bird. Uh, I don't think I own Kazooie. I don't know if they're my bird, but thanks, dude. So we'll find him at the next molehill along the way. What do you say we just go and uh, grab some stuff here? Now, we could practice the pack whack on the sticks back there, but I'd rather just kill this enemy. Now, right here, we've got more tutorials if we pick this up. They'll talk to us some more here. Those honeycombs will make you feel better when you've taken a knock. There are four different kinds of honeycomb. Single honeycombs give you one unit of energy back. X2 honeycombs give you two units of energy back. While question mark and exclamation mark honeycombs give you back whatever the flashing honeycomb stops on when you press A. So yeah, there's four different kinds of honeycombs we can find to heal us up, and we'll be finding lots of those throughout the course of this playthrough here. So there is the Jinjo Oracle. We've got one out of five. What do you say we go and talk? Why did you disturb the great oracle of Jinjo? I'm sorry to bother you. I was wondering if you could help me find my friend Kazooie. Seek the scattered Jinjos and return to the oracle. Then the oracle will reveal all the secrets of Jinjodom. With a press of A. Ooh, mysterious. Not really, Banjo. The oracle does not get around much and requires fresh gossip from lost Jinjos. Impressive. You knew my name without a asking. It is written all over the manual. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Oracle. I'll go find some Jinjos and call back later. Alrighty then. Gruntilda has cast a spell on the Jiggy Priest. He needs your help in his temple to the south. All right, sounds good, buddy. So we're gonna go down here and look for some more notes along the way. Now, actually in this first area, well, I should go and show you guys here. Well, first off, we have some options, but that's basically this tech speed. Actually, I'm gonna put that on the fast, why not? We can change the sound effects and the background uh, music volumes. But also, if we go look at our totals, you can see there's gonna eventually be 100 notes in this area, just like the areas from the original Banjo-Kazooie we had. But right now, the most we can possibly get is just 25. We've also got some evil looking crud over here, but we can't quite get in there. So instead, we'll just kill off some of these enemies. I keep looking for more notes, getting up to that 25 there. And also, I want to make sure I break this. You can see it's kind of sparkling. And inside, we've got an empty honeycomb piece. Let's see what that does. I mean, if you've played Banjo games before, you know, but looks like you've just picked up your first hollow. Okay, okay, I called it empty, but hollow, whatever. Uh, take them to Honeybee's Hive near Spiral Mountain to get your health bar extended. Yeah, so if we get a bunch of those, we can extend our health bar, which is always nice. Uh, this game is overall pretty easy, but having more health never hurts. So let's go ahead and kill this guy. And right over here, we've got this little dude. We can also break him open, and he'll have this crud inside. So this is the exclamation mark one. You can see at the top left, our HP is moving. We just hit A when we want it to stop. Basically hit A when it's on the far right, because you want full health. If you hit it on the far left, it'll bring your health down to one, which is pretty brutal. But we'll hit this button and open up the temple. In we go! Jiggy Wiggy's temple. And I gosh dang love the music inside here. But let's just uh, go up top. We got a guy to talk to here. And we can also get our first Jiggy. You have just collected your first Jiggy. Jiggies are powerful objects containing magic strong enough to break the spells of the great witch Gruntilda. Gruntilda has scattered our Jiggies far and wide across many lands. The spell that she casts on us, Jiggy Priest, prevents us from touching any Jiggy, so we are powerless to stop her. The Jiggy that you've just collected has enough power to open the way to Cliff Farm. I will open the gateway to the altar for you. Please carry this Jiggy to the Jiggy Pad and press A to release the Jiggy Magic. All right, buddy, so the gate down there now opens, and we have to go over and press A on that Jiggy. So let's just walk down and... I guess go do that. Let's just walk on over, hit the button, and let's get it going. And this should open up that uh, area we saw before. It was looking kind of evil, but now that we've done that, the red stuff will go away. I mean, it still looks evil, but it looks like we can actually go inside there now. So let's go take a look at our first actual stage. Not this hub world here, but our first real stage, which is going to be... Cliff Farms. And the cool thing, we go into Cliff Farm, as soon as we get in, because we collected all 25 notes outside, we can talk to this guy and immediately get our next new move. Right, Banjo, it looks like you've got enough notes to learn the underwater dive. Hooray, I can't wait to take a dip into some water crevices. Let's see, you'll need to find a spot with plenty of 
of air, so stick to places where bubbles rise to the surface. When you're near them, bubbles just press R to take a dive. While you're down there, use A to swim higher and make sure you keep topping up your air supply. Oh, and press R to head back to the surface. Okay, I'll give it a try. Are there any bubbly water spots nearby? Why not try that pool to the left? Okay, we'll do that. Finally, we can uh, get rid of some of this hand-holding and actually go play the game here instead of just getting constant tutorials. So we'll grab a few notes here. We can also take note that there's a Jinjo statue here, but we've got zero out of five Jinjos. Let's see if we can kill this guy. Kabam. And I'll just keep grabbing some notes. And now, this is the pond he was talking about. So let's go over. Let's uh, press R. And that lets us dive into Cliff Falls Pool. So here we can grab a few notes, grab the Jiggy, and go right back up. That's all there really is in this pond. Not a whole lot. So let's keep on going. Grab some more notes and just kill enemies as we go. Thankfully, these guys aren't moving. I mean, I'll probably still at some point end up getting hit by non-moving enemies, but I'll try my best to avoid it for as long as possible and get another new move. Right then, Banjo, you've got enough notes to learn how to climb. Looks like I'll need to use this move pretty soon. Okay, all you've got to do is find something like a ladder or a vine, then push up on the control pad. When you want to get off, just press A to let go. Try climbing them ladders behind me, and I'll see you across the bridge. Okay, I'll see you up there. Okay, sounds good. So now we can very easily climb. You can also jump on the ladders really easily, and it's kind of fun to just spam jump as you climb up there. But here is Jinjo number one, so we'll go ahead and save them. And I love that it's the orange Jinjos. Now, it's not going to be like the Jinjos from the other games. Or I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. Oh, please help me. A cruel gruntling has stolen 12 of my eggs and taken them down this slippery slide. Sounds like you could use a hand. Oh, do you watch out for the springy spikes? They'll knock you off course, oh, my poor chicks. Okay, so we have to go inside here, and it'll put us on this slide. And as we go, we have to try to collect all of the eggs and hopefully get a reward. But on the topic of the Jinjos, uh, they're not like in the first Banjo-Kazooie where you have to collect a bunch of different colors or anything like that during the stage. For some reason, each stage has its own color and you just collect whatever's in the stage. So there we go, we got all 12 eggs, pretty easy. And let's go out and see what we get for that, crud. Oh, my eggs! Thank you! Here's a little something to show my appreciation. And here we get a Jiggy! Alright! So, we just have to climb back up the ladder and we'll get that crud. We're like ladder climbing pros now. Bam! Okay, we'll go across and kill that guy. Make sure we grab all the notes as we go. So, just like Spiral Mountain had, this stage will also have 100 notes to find. And pretty much the same. Yeah, a lot of the stuff here is the same as the original Banjo-Kazooie. We'll have 10 Jiggies to find, 5 Jinjos to find. Speaking of Jinjos, there's one right there. And uh, yeah, 100 notes. So, there we go. We'll get back out. That's all the notes for here. Now, Bazai said he would be across the bridge, so we'll go and cross the bridge right here and go see if we can find him. So this is Farm Heights, and there's quite a lot to do here, but the main thing is going to be talking to this chicken right here, because we have to save her five little chicks and uh, bring it back to her. So we'll have to kind of explore around, see if we can find them, and if we if we can, we'll get another Jiggy. So kind of a lot of work for just one Jiggy, but you know what, we'll, we'll do it. So let's go look for those guys, and we'll find a lot of notes as we go. Now, this enemy Gruntweed, uh, he actually will drop as soon as you go under him, but one really cool trick, check this out. If you just kind of swing while they're dropping, it just kills them for some reason. I don't know why, but yeah, just attack while they're dropping on you. You don't even have to worry about dodging. It's pretty cool. So we'll go down here. Not even going to bother killing these guys, but let's go grab the first of the five chicks there. I think I'm good on health, so I don't need to worry about that. So we'll just go up and around this way. Oh, there's chick number two. We'll get that. Now down here, there's a little hole in this house. And if I were a little smaller, I might just squeeze in there. But uh, I guess I'm just too big. So we'll have to... Come back maybe sometime if we ever get smaller. Yeah, all right. Now up here is probably the worst part of the stage, but let's just go deal with it. Oh, Banjo with all the beanies. Oh, I guess sheep don't exactly sound like that. A ba out. Oh, I don't know, man. Well, basically we have to play a little sheep mini game right here. We have to use this fishing pole to capture a bunch of sheep for some reason. And the longer we hold down the button, the farther it will go. This minigame can be pretty evil. We're on a timer. The sheep are really slow slash fast, and it's hard to keep up with them. And sometimes just choosing, uh, just figuring out the right amount to press the button to actually get it where you want it to go can be pretty tough. Now, if you're really skillful and you line it up just right, you can actually grab two at once. Got it right there. Nice. Uh, we just have to get 12, but the problem is as we go, sometimes there'll be less and less sheep to actually go for. Now, I like to go for the ones in the back primarily. Sometimes I'll go for the ones in the middle. But I find the ones in the front do like this weird movement pattern, so sometimes they're pretty hard to get. Oh, come on, just one more. Oh, uh, boy. Yes, got him. Oh, jeez. 
I've actually failed that one many times, so I'm glad to get that first try on camera here. Okay, that gives us our uh, fourth Jiggy. I thought it was our second. How the crud did I forget about two of the Jiggies we've gotten already? I don't know, but let's go over this way now. Uh, I could climb up there, but we'll do that in a minute. I want to go look for Bazai. Wait, okay, I was making sure I've got enough notes. Yeah, the notes that we have from outside the stage and inside the stage all count towards this guy, so yeah, we're fine. Alrighty, good to see you brought enough of the glittery stuff. Try this useful roll attack. Just press B while you're on the move to send him reeling. Why not have a try on the roll switch over there? Sounds like that's just the attack I'm looking for, Bazai. Yeah, so now we can use our pack whack if we're standing still, and we can use our roll if we're moving, so we can hit that switch and get ourselves some more notes. All right. I don't think it makes us move any quicker, so I'm not going to be spamming it too much like I would in, in Zelda or something. But yeah, now we'll climb on top of the barn here and go up top and get ourselves a hollow honeycomb. Now I'll drop down and grab the chick right here, and actually let's go inside the barn and we'll kill off this guy. we got Bluff Barn. And since we got the roll, we can now go roll into this crud, and we can activate this switch. Now, this is a grunty panel. If we go through this crud, it's going to be basically a boss fight. So here we've got Klungo's lab, and uh, I guess Klungo's doing some evil crud. So we'll have to see if we can defeat this guy. Now, we fought Klungo in previous Banjo games before, and he's basically never all that complicated. This game is no different. Klungo is going to be very, very easy to take down. All we have to do is... Just not die! HP greater than zero equals victory! So, uh, let's get a taste of his formula, I guess. But yeah, basically this guy is going to just put up a shield and start throwing some potions at us, or some vials. And after a while, the shield goes down, we roll into him, or just hit him or whatever, and just kind of repeat. Just dodge, then hit him, and then dodge some more, and then hit him again. The only thing is, like, every time you hit him, he's gonna throw more potions the next time, so it takes longer and longer before he puts that shield down. So, you gotta be kind of patient, just kind of run in circles, or as close to circles as we can get in this game. Can't really make very uh, smooth transitions between angles. We'll just walk in a, a diamond shape, or something like that. Come on, put down your shield, buddy. Will you ever put down your shield? Yeah, like I said, you have to be pretty patient for this fight. There we go, and now we can defeat Klungo. So, a pretty easy boss fight, a little bit boring there, because you just have to wait for so long. And yeah, you, you might have noticed all the health around, so if you do get hit, you can just pick that up, and it's pretty easy. But right here, we get a Jiggy, but also something else. Let's check that one out. So right here, what a brave bear! You've knocked some magic out of Grunty and Klungo! Take this token to Mumbo Jumbo, the Witch Doctor. He might be able to find a use for it. Yes, so if we bring that to that guy, uh, to Mumbo Jumbo, then, well... I'll just tell you guys, just like previous games, we can transform. And uh, we need to get smaller to go inside there. I think you guys can put two and two together. We gotta go to Mumbo Jumbo to transform, so we can actually fit, uh, fit inside those holes. So let's go do that, Crud. We'll just grab some notes along the way, because Mumbo Jumbo's house is actually back here. Let's grab that uh, chick there. And then we go to Mumbo's pad. Let's go talk to him. Banjo, have new totem for Mumbo Magic. Mumbo, hope this turned out all right. Mumbo, change Banjo to something now? Sure. Let's well, go ahead and hit yes. So if we didn't have the Mumbo token, we couldn't do this right now. So what can we transform into? Well, basically, we can transform into a stinking rat. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's technically smaller. Although I think by rat standards, this is actually a pretty large rat. That, or just everything in the world is tiny, so we just look kind of big. But yeah, we can go squeeze into small passages now. The only problem is, uh, when we're in this form, if we jump into water, we'll instantly die. So there are some goodies in the water around here, but I'm gonna wait until we're done with the rat form before we do that. So the first thing I want to do is go inside here, skip past this guy, or, or take damage, that's fine. And inside here we've got a few notes, but we've also got a Jinja, so we'll grab him. And now I want to go to that other house where there were the, uh, where there was that small hole. I'll just meet you guys over there and we'll go inside. Here we are, let's go in, Mr. Rat Guy. And inside here, a little bit more complicated than the last one. We've actually got an empty, or hollow honeycomb. Uh, but if we walk into the gears here, it'll actually hurt us. So we wanna make sure we avoid those. So let's drop into the floor, grab all these, and go into this little side area, which puts us up top. We can get some more notes, but we can also hit this switch, which will drop down the elevator. And we can take that up to get a jiggy. And now we can just drop down and get out of this place. 
And that is actually all we want to do with the rat. So I'm going to go ahead and head back to Mumbo's and turn back to Banjo. Okay, so we're back as Banjo. Now that we can safely go inside the water, I actually want to drop into the water down here because there's a lot of goodies to get. Of course, we got some notes, but there's also a Jiggy and a Chick right here. So there's the final Chick. Got that one all taken care of. So now we just have to go back to get our reward. Now, there was a small hole in front of like the chicken coop or whatever. But even if you go over there as a rat, you can't go inside the chicken coop. So don't worry about that. Oh, crud. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to dodge these guys while you're swimming, and we can't really attack them here either. Crud. Yeah, the hitboxes are kind of weird. Playing a 3D platformer in 2D is kind of bizarre. It does kind of work, but there are some times where the perspective's a little bit odd, or it's hard to tell if you're going to get hit or not. But overall, it, it does work pretty well, even if it looks a little bit strange. So I'll go down here and grab that note. And yeah, we have to go all the way around, because pretty much this entire riverbank has goodies for us. Mostly notes, but if we go all the way up here, yeah, we'll also get a Jinjo. So there's Jinjo number four. There's one more to find in this stage. And that's basically our, all there is to do in Farm Heights. So we're going to go back out and uh, continue the rest of the stage out there. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, we obviously need to go... Uh, actually, I actually need heals real quick. But I do need to go and uh, actually get the reward from the chicken. Leave me alone, Gruntweed! Crud! <laughs> oh, well, we'll just, we'll just go talk to the chicken. I brought all your chicks back safe and sound. Thank you. Please have this crusty bit of straw-colored stuff that I found. Um, okay. I'll just I'll just take the jiggy. Sure. So that's going to be jiggy number eight. Just two more to go. We're already almost done 100% with the stage. Just a little bit more to go, but we're done with the side area. Let's go back to the main area of Cliff Farm. And I actually want to drop down here. Because all the way down here, you can hear that whistle, there is Jinjo number five. And after we find all five Jinjos, the statue will start talking randomly. And yeah, there's going to be another Jiggy right there. So there's Jiggy number nine, which will actually be number ten, because that's the last one I'm going to pick up. But I just want to make sure we get some notes. Almost done with those, just about eight more to find, which shouldn't be too bad. But we can also get our kind of last Jiggy right up here. So basically, these sheep are getting harassed by a Gruntweed. And uh, I just have to deal with the Gruntweed. I sometimes am okay at dealing with these guys. There we go. Okay, so Gruntweed is dead. And uh, now the sheep are saved. They're going to move out the way. And we can go grab Mr. Jiggy. So we got that. Now we just have to go get that last Jiggy from in front of the statue. And we're done. But we just got to grab a couple more notes. Just right here. And here are the last two. And there you go. All 100 notes are ours. Well done, Banjo. You collected all 100 notes. That's got to be a record. Probably. So we got the notes, we've got all of the Jinjo, so now we can go get that last Jiggy. And that is pretty much going to be it for Cliff Farms. All the Jinjos have been found on the farm. I only hope the Briegel Breach... Not Breach! <laughs> Beach. I've been playing too much Enter the Gungeon where there's a Breach. But alright, so there's that. Now if we go and look at our totals down here, you can see we've got all the empty honeycombs, or hollow honeycombs, whatever. We've got all of the uh, chicks, all of the gingers, all of the everything. This stage is done. And with that, everyone, we are going to wrap up this first episode of the series. Now, this game is really short, so it's probably only going to be about six parts until we're done. So it's going to be short and, short and sweet, but a fun little game. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I am excited to see you guys again in part two. I'll see you then. Take care!